Okay, it is right starting here. up right now. Mm -hmm. I believe it goes live first right now. There you go. And I think you're live. And I think we are yes, we live. We yeah. are live. Welcome, welcome everybody to Chapel of Change. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, let's give it up for God. Let's give it up for God. Every Monday night, we come on here to pray for the city of Dallas, to pray for the nation, to pray for the broken, the lost. We are believing for supernatural results. We are believing for mighty miracles and we are taking nothing less but victory. Yes. This is our posture. This is the posture of God that wants things to break and to move. And he uses us. He uses us as conduit yes. to move his spirit here in the natural. Yeah. So we want to welcome everybody. We love you guys. We love you. We love you. Welcome to Chapel of Change Monday yes. night spiritual warfare as we come on here at six o'clock every Monday. Yes. My name is Pastor Simon. This is Pastor Catherine and our beloved, come on somebody, our beloved spiritual warfare come on prayer yes. warrior come on somebody i just had to add on a big old name there <laughs> didn't i because that's who she is yes. that's who she is she is a prayer warrior sister olga so today i want to talk tonight i want to talk on the power the powers of prayer moving in the supernatural but see, something's connected. Something is connected. I want to give you a key. I want to give you a key tonight because something is connected to the prayer that makes the prayer move into the supernatural. And it is a vow. It is something when you consecrate, when you consecrate your life as a living sacrifice, you can move in the supernatural. I want you to see this. Look, in it. Look at Samson in Judges 16, 28. It says, then Samson, he called on to the Lord. See, Samson was done, right? The Philistines cut his hair. They tied him up. They gouged out his eyes, right? But he had all the Philistines people, all of them there on top of the roof, around in the place where he was. They were tormenting him. They were laughing at him, right? But we all know Samson, right? Samson was dedicated dedicated as a child right Samson was was dedicated they made a vow they consecrated Manoah his father consecrated and prayed right they 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 sacrificed right and, and they prayed for Samson right even though Samson was disobedient I want you to see the power of prayer when they consecrated Samson right God still moved God moved in the supernatural see what happens when we vow when we consecrate ourselves to god god will move in the supernatural look at look at what he did look at his his prayer look at samson's prayer right here to god it says then samson called to the lord it says then samson called to the lord saying oh lord god it says, oh, Lord God, remember me. He's saying, God, remember me. You were, you, you were moving through me. Supernatural powers were moving, Father. You have chosen me, Father. You were with me, Father. He is saying, he is saying, remember me. I pray. He's saying, Lord, I pray. Strengthen me, God. Remember me, God. Strengthen me, he says, I pray just this once, he's saying, God, just this once, oh God, that I may with one blow, he says, with one blow, take vengeance on the Philistines 
for my two eyes. He's saying, God, remember me. He's saying, God, remember the vow that my father has made. See, if we go back to Manoah, his father, Manoah prayed to the Lord, saying, Lord, please let my man, let, let the man of God come back. He's talking about an angel because the angel visited his mother, Samson's mother, and says, you are going to have a baby, right? But then they gave him her rules, right? Of what not to drink and what not to eat, right? And Manoah, right? He comes praying to God and he's saying, God, send back. He's praying. He's a man of prayer. And he says, God, send back the man of God to give us more instructions about the son who is about to be born. And then in Judges 13, 19, it says, then Manoah, he took a young goat, right? Because the, the, the man of God, right? Which was an angel, come on somebody, which was an angel told him, no, don't, 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 you don't have to do that, that he wasn't going to eat. He says, but what you can do is offer it up as a sacrifice. He says, you could offer it to the Lord as a sacrifice, right? See, the angel gave him a key, an offering of a sacrifice, right, for his son. Come on, somebody. Oh, we got to offer it up tonight. We don't offer up goats no more as a sacrifice, but we can offer our lives as a living sacrifice. We can offer ourselves up to the Lord when we make a vow, when we make a consecration to our Lord. See, this is what took place in that offering. Something powerful took place in that offering. That's where the strength of Samson came from. It was from that vow. It was through prayer. It was through sacrifice. This is why Samson is saying, remember me, God. Remember the vow that my father made. Remember the favor that you had upon me, Lord. Heavenly Father, just once more, Father, give it back to me, Father, so I can have vengeance on the Philistines, right, that took my two eyes. He's saying, I let me die with them, Father. He is saying, let me die with them. We got to die of ourselves today, saying, oh, we could get into prayer, right? But there's something powerful when we come to offer ourselves up to God as a living sacrifice. See, God wants to cut off the flesh. Come on, somebody. He wants to cut off the fat off of our lives. And that is a living sacrifice. And when we make vows to God, when we sit there and say, Lord, I will serve you. I will go through the process. Supernaturally, miracles will start to shift in favor over your lives. It comes together. Prayer comes together. Let us look at Hannah. Anna did the same thing. Come on, somebody. She came to the altar, right? And Eli, Eli thought she was drunk, but she wasn't drunk. She was in the spirit. She was praying. She was praying to God. She was saying, Lord, give me a son, Father God. If you give me a son, I promise you, Lord. She was bowing right there. She was consecrating her son that wasn't even born. And she says, Lord, I promise I will give him to you for service, Lord, if you give me a son. See, Hannah was a woman of prayer. She knew the key to heaven. She knew that if she gave, gave up a, a, a vow, right, if she consecrated her son, if she offered it up at the altar, that God was going to move in a mighty and powerful way. And God moved. God delivered her son. God delivered her. And it was Samuel. Samuel became one of the greatest prophets of all time. Samuel was a powerful man of God because it was a consecration 
consecration, through mm. prayer. It was a vow through prayer. So let us bow today, saints. Let us offer up God our lives today. The things that you think that are holding you back, offer them up to God and say, God, take this away. Lord, I give it to you, Father God. I promise, Lord, I will serve you, Father God. I promise, Lord, that I will follow your directions, Father God, over my life, Father God, Lord, and watch what God does. God will move in the supernatural way. God will shift favor upon your life when we make a vow to God, when we promise God, when we promise him our service to him, when we stay committed to him, when we become a man and woman of our word. Come on, somebody. See, God doesn't move in a wishy-washy person. Somebody says one thing one day and somebody says another thing another day. You got to believe it. You got to stand by the promise of God. You got to stand on it. You got to make that vow and you got to pay that vow and watch God move and shift in your life just like he did for Samson. He moved. Look at even throw, even though Samson was disobedient and he didn't even follow the directions, God still poured out his favor on Samson to the end. This is why he said, oh Lord God, remember me me, remember me, remember the vow my father Manoah prayed, remember the sacrifice they did at the altar, remember Father God, Lord, oh Father God, just one more time through my disobedience, I'm sorry Father, he was crying out to the Lord, he was crying out to the Lord, sometimes we gotta cry out to the Lord, we gotta cry, and we gotta offer our we got to take things seriously. See, Come Hannah on. was serious about having a son. See, Hannah was going through some difficult things, right? Because the other woman was making fun of her because she was barren, right? So you can imagine what Hannah was going through, but she was serious. She was serious when she came to the altar and when she came with prayer to the altar, she was serious. She said, Lord, Give me a son, give me a son, and I will dedicate him to you, Lord. See the power, see the power shifting right there. See the power that shifted when she consecrated, when she made a vow to the Lord. God shifted in the supernatural favor fell on Samuel. Come on, somebody. Favor was on Samuel's house to the day he died. See, things move in the supernatural saints when we take things seriously, when we vow and consecrate ourselves to God. Let us not just come up to our Lord with the simple, pretty little prayer, but let us come serious to the Lord. See, I want more of God in my life, so I'm willing to sacrifice my life for the Lord every day. Yeah. I'm consecrating myself every day because I want to move of God in my life. I want to move of God for you. I'm yes. believing for you. So I will, will be a sacrifice so God can bring favor upon you. I'm doing it for you. Come on, somebody. This yes. is what it takes. It takes a sacrifice and a vow with prayer to the Lord and God will move in a supernatural way. God wants to move in the supernatural tonight. God wants to heal tonight. God wants to break open tonight. Oh, we're going to promise tonight. We are going to promise. We're going to offer ourselves as a living sacrifice tonight. And God is going to move on our behalf. The overflow of the Holy Spirit will shift into the supernatural of miracles. Healings will take place. People will get up and walk again. Oh, yeah. we're believing for victory here Come in on. this house. 
We are yes. taking nothing less but victory in this house. Yes. We got to speak forth victory. Yes. We got to speak forth miracles. We got to tap in. Come on, somebody. Yes. We got to tap into the supernatural. Yes. And what it takes to tap into the supernatural is a vow, is a consecration. Yes. Come on, it is an offering. Yes. It's an offering just like Manoah did. He offered the goat up, right? And when there was fire, when the fire was at the altar, something supernatural took place. That angel went into the fire and he ascended. Oh, he ascended to heaven through the fire, through the fire of God. See what happens when we offer up ourselves in the fire of God, the supernatural of God, when we get in the fire and the presence of our Lord, yes. things will shift in your life. Things will shift in favor in your life. See, this is a hot topic, saints. I had to give this key today. I had to give it. Oh, we offered this up yesterday in our Sunday service, but God says, I want more. I want you to, 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 get, to show them more. I want more. People need to be set free tonight. Oh, people need to be set free tonight through the moving of the Holy Spirit. He's like, show them, show them how this works. Show them an offering. So we're going to offer it up tonight. We're going to offer Offer up sickness tonight. Come yes. on, somebody. My brother, my brother Anthony, my brother Anthony said he said he wanted prayer so he could be free from this germ for, for, from him and his mother. So we're going to offer it up tonight. We're going to offer up this disease, this germ tonight. And we promise, Lord, oh, we promise and we offer up Anthony tonight that he will serve you, Father God, in the next level, Father God, a next level movement like never before, Father God, Lord. I pray, Father God, that there will be an outpouring upon this life. Father God, Lord, I pray that there will be a removal, a removal of, 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 of fat tonight, Father God, that he will become lean, Father God, a removal of flesh tonight, Father God, Lord, as we offer him up, Father God, as a sweet smelling aroma, because we're believing, Father God, in supernatural miracles. We're believing in the miracles that are going to take place, Father God, Lord, we pray against that double-minded person today, Father, the one that is wishy-washy. Oh, we pray against it right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, as we offer this up tonight, Father God, Lord. We pray, Father, that your Holy Spirit, Lord, will rain down in a supernatural favor, Father God, that will break and dismantle all the unclean spirits. Come on, somebody. The unclean spirits, the opposer, the opposer that is opposing their inheritance, that is opposing their favor of heaven. So, Heavenly Father, Lord, we offer up this time to you, Father God. We yes. repent, Father God, of our sins, Father. We repent of yes, everything Father. that is un un unworthy to you, Father God, yes. for you are holy, Father God, Lord. Yes, so we got to be careful, Lord, to give you all the glory, Father yes. God. Oh, you are holy, Father yes. God. You are worthy of all praise, Father God, Lord. You are worthy of all praise, Father God. God, Lord. So we worship you today, Lord. We offer this prayer up to you, Father yes, God. Father. We offer ourselves up to you yes, today, Father. Father God, Lord. Come on, somebody, everybody that is watching and yes. listening, offer it up to the Lord yes. today. Raise up your hands and offer yes. it up to God. Say, Lord, I promise and I dedicate my life to you, Father God, solely to you, Father, not my job. Oh, but to you, Father God, Lord, not to that, that place that I go to, but to you, Father God, not to the phone, but to you, Father God, Lord, I offer myself up to you, Father God, Lord, I'm believing.
seen in supernatural favor tonight, Father God, Lord. Heavenly Father, pour it out upon your people, Father God. Break the ugliness, Father God. Break yes, the oppressor, Father God, tonight, Father Lord. As I pray favor upon them, Father yes. God. I pray healing upon your people, Father God. I pray healing right now, Father God, Lord. I pray right now that gifts are steered up in the name of Jesus, Father God. All that doubt. Oh, there's somebody here doubting tonight. That doubt is gone right now in the name of Jesus. God is removing that doubt right now because he wants to show off on your life right now. He's going to remove it. He's going to, you're going to start to feel a different way right now in the name of Jesus. And you're going to know it's the Lord. You're going to know it's him. He's going to free you of that, that clogged throat right now. Oh, that ingestion right now in the the name of Jesus. It is gone right now. That gone. mucus is gone right, right now. That headache yeah. is gone right now. Oh, it is gone in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. That unclean spirit is gone yeah. right now in the name of Jesus. That wavering mind is gone right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That unstable mind is gone yeah. right now in the name of Jesus. That sadness Oh, there's a sadness tonight. Mm, come, Somebody come is sad and looking only to you and yeah. say, Lord, help me. That sadness is gone. Yeah. I, sure. I pray joy, uh, yeah. impartation of joy right now Amen. in the name of Let Jesus. Him Let him oh, God. Lord, impart joy Jesus. upon them tonight, Father God, Lord. Yes, Father. We thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. Thank worship you. you, Father God, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Father, we come before worship you this evening, you. Father God. You tell us when we come before you, to come before your throne of grace with confidence, Father God. You tell us to come with confidence, Father, yes, that, Father. that whatever we ask, that we, if we believe that we have already received it, then it is already ours, Father God. Yes. And these, these prayers, these petitions that have already gone out, Father God, we believe that we have already received it. We believe, we stand in the gap for those that we pray for and believe that they have already received these healings, Father God. We ask this evening, Jesus. Father God, for the wisdom so that we may effectively continue to lead your people, yeah. Father God. We pray that the only reason we raise, we, our children, raise our hands yeah. is to pray yeah. and to worship you, Father God. On, when your word tells us, when your word tells us to draw close to your throne of grace and confidence, yes. that we ask that we may receive your mercy and find your grace in our time of need, Father yes, God. We Lord. ask you this evening, continue to work through your people, continue to work through your through your yes, saints, through your Lord. prophets, through your apostles, Father. And yes, Father God, Lord. you tell us to come. You you tell us to come to Him in with righteous intentions with pure hearts and asking for the right things, Father God. This evening, we ask all these things, Father, so that your glory, your honor, your spirit may be manifest on this earth. And Father, yes, we ask Lord. that the Lord, that, that Jesus, the Son, and you and the Holy Spirit may be glorified through all the workings in this world, Father God. We pray this yes, evening, Lord. Father God. We lift up all those, Father, who are affected by this pandemic, Father God through every single strain, Father. And Father God, we ask you this evening, eradicate this disease from off the face of this yes, earth this evening. We yes, proclaim the blood of Jesus over Come everyone on. affected. Healing. We proclaim healing. healing. Right we proclaim, healing. we proclaim, put your hand in, if there's somebody that's having trouble breathing, yes. put your hand in your chest and take a deep breath. He's healing you right now. He's giving you back full lung Next. capacity. Take Jesus. a deep breath and proclaim over yes. yourself. I am healed in Jesus name. You are taking a full breath right now. You have full breath in your lungs and we glorify Jesus yes. in the name of God for your healing. You proclaim yes. comfort, yes. Father God, over all those who have lost yes. someone yes. through this yes. pandemic, Father God. We ask you for comfort, healing, and peace over their families, Father. We can ask you to continue to heal those, Father God. Completely, Father, 100%. We ask you, Father God, we proclaim this evening, Father God, yes. as we come against the wiles of the enemy, we, pro we proclaim yes. this evening that we break the bond of mm. the spirit of cancer. We break yes. the bond of the spirit of, of uh, diabetes. We break the bond 
and of they heart disease. Yeah. We break the bond of all disease yeah. that has come against your people, Father God, and we proclaim healing and comfort over your people this evening, Father God, by the blood of the Lamb, Father. We ask you, Father God, that we continue to be able to be as crafty as a serpent, as a serpent, Father God, but as harmless as the dove. Yes. And Father, I pray the spirit of the Lamb of Judah over your people, yes. as well yes. as the blood of the Lamb of God, Father God. Yes. Thank, you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Father God, I just pray right now, Father God, as we approach your thorn, Father God. Father God, to remind your people, Father God, the power of the tongue, Father God. Yes. The power, Father God, is speaking life into ourselves, Father God, and to others, Father God. And Father God, speaking death, Father God. So Father God, everyone that's watching, Father God, to remind Find him, Father God, to speak life, Father God, that sickness goes now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Speak it yourself. Speak it over yourself. Speak it as loud as you can. Just like a roaring lion, he says. He says, speak mm. healing over yourself. Speak yes, that Lord. everything that's unclean inside of you gets gone in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Father. We should not let the enemy gouge our eyes. We should mm. take back what he took from us. So, Father God, let him have a remembrance, Father God, when they first came to you, Father God, as they came humble to you, Father God, as their faith was built up, Father God, because faith, Father God, is what we should be walking through, Father God. We shall walk through faith and know, Father God, that you are a healer, Father yes, God. Lord. Know, Father God, that you are the only physician that has the last say so. Mm. So, now, in the mighty name of Jesus, we speak healing over everybody's body right now, Father God, from the crown of their head to the soles to the feet, Father God. Yes. Strengthen them, Father God. Give them strength, Father God. Father God, and let them open up their mouth, Father God, and speak life into others, Father God. Speak yes. life into themselves. Encourage one another. Give, give grace to one another unforgiveness has to go now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father God. Everything has to be set loose, Father God. Spoken yes. out so it can be released. A release, Father God, out of their bodies, Father God, out of their yes. hearts, Father God. Yes. A reconstruction taking place inside of them, mm. Father God. A renewal, yes. Father God. Let them reannounce, Father God. Most of us need to reannounce that what needs to be renounced so it can mm. be set Free in the name of Jesus. Yes. So, Lord, let us remind ourselves that we have that power in that tongue. So, Father God, let us lift each other up with that power because he yes. gave us that power. He gave us the authority, my people, my family. Speak it over yourself and be set free in the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Oh, we worship you tonight, yes, Father. Father. Oh, you we adore you. your holy name, Father God, Lord. We adore you, Father God, Lord. We worship yes. you, Father. Yes. We come with a posture like Hannah, Father, Lord. Yes, To Father. your altar, Father God, Lord. Worshiping you, Father God, Lord. Oh, we come with a request yes. tonight, Father, yes. that you will heal your people, Father God, yes, Lord. Father. We pray a shifting of heaven tonight, Father, Lord, that your people will be set free tonight, Father. Yes, we will be set free from the oppressor tonight that has been holding them back, that has been blocking their blessings since yes. the day they were born. I pray right now yes. that your Holy Spirit, Father, will heal oh. the unforgiving heart of the past, yes. 
Father, yes, Lord. Father. I pray, Father, Lord, that there will be forgiveness, Father, Lord, yes. that there will be an offering, Father, God, Lord, an offering of themselves, Father, yes. that you will remove, Father, the things in their life that they think that are pleasing them, Father, Lord. I pray a removal of their flesh, Father, yes. God, Lord. I pray strength, Father, for the people that are willing to walk in the process, Father, of consecration, that we're willing to walk in the process of us living sacrifice unto you, unto a holy king. When they offer themselves to a holy king and honor their promise to you, Father, I pray courage over them, Lord. As you remove the things that are blocking their, their blessings, Father. As you remove and you heal their yes. family. As you heal their lives, Father. As you release jobs tonight. Yes, Lord. As you release favor yes, Lord. tonight, Father God, Lord. As you release, Father God. You release it tonight, Father, yes, Lord. Yes. Oh, you release financial favor yes, tonight, Lord. Yes. Father, Lord. Yes. You believe that releasing of financial yes. favor right now in the name of Jesus, yes. Father, Lord. I pray, Father, a releasing of your holy power, yes. Lord, yes. Uh, uh, of any people right now. There's somebody that is struggling in the wilderness right now. Yes, Lord. There's somebody yes. that's in the wilderness and is struggling and believing the lies of the enemy. Mm, come on. Lord, I pray favor upon them, Lord. Yes. I pray that we break that oppressor tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus. As we call out warring angels tonight, Father, that will surround them and minister to them as the warring angels, as ministering angels minister to Jesus, Father. Send the same angels, Lord. I pray the angels that minister to to Jesus, Father, that ministered to Elijah, Father, yes. that fed Elijah, Lord. I pray those yes, same Father angels God. will surround them, Father God, in the time of trouble in the wilderness, Father, Lord, that you will help them to understand, Father, that they could trust in you, Lord, that you yes. are the one that sent them in there, and you're the only one that could take them out, Lord. Yes. Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray comfort in their time of need, Father. I pray comfort upon them, Lord, right now in the wilderness, Father, Lord, knowing that all things are going to work out for the betterment Good, Father. of them, Lord. Yes, Lord. I pray this right now, Father. I pray strength right now. Lord. Yes, Father God. I pray strength. spiritual food for them right now, Father. Yes, Lord. I pray that spiritual food upon. I pray yes. a, a cloak that will that there will be wrapped around, wrapped Father, it. so they could stay warm and be protected, yes. Father God, as a strong tower, Father, yes. as they come into a place of refuge, Father, Lord. Lord. I pray that they will be cloaked tonight, oh. Father God, that they will, they will be protected tonight, yes. Father, as yes. warring angels, as ministering angels come yes. to minister to them and walk them through the yes. process. In the wilderness, Lord. Okay. Just remember, Saint. Thank you. Remember, Father. just remember the bigger the opposition is, the bigger your purpose. Yes. Just remember this is part of your process. Yes. Just Lord. know who you are. God has called you for great and big <laughs> and mighty things. Amen. And to get there, we got to go through the wilderness. We got to go through the process because yeah. that's where the refining comes in. That's yeah. where the removal, come on somebody, of the flesh takes yeah. place. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
when we overcome the voices and we start to trust in God and stop running around to everybody, but just trust in God. Yes. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord. Thank you, Pour Father. Pour out your spirit, Father, upon them, Lord. Yes. Pour it out, Father. Thank in Jesus' you. mighty name. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We worship you, Father. Yes. Oh, you are holy, Lord. Holy you Lord. are holy, Father God. Oh, you are yes. holy. We just want to worship you tonight, Lord. We just want to stay in your presence, Father Lord. Mm -hmm. For you are holy, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we love to just to be in, in your presence and to honor you, Lord. For you are a king, Lord. Yes. Jesus. You, for you, you sit on the throne, Father. For you yes. never left the throne, Father God, Lord. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, we worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're almighty, Father. You're yes. all powerful, Lord. For you're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the last, Lord. Arthur, Father. Oh, yes, Lord. We worship you, Father. Have your way tonight, Father. Have your way tonight, Father God. As we, Lord. as we know, Father, that you have moved in a mighty way tonight for your people, Lord. I feel it in my spirit. I feel there was a shifting going on. I felt a breaking going on. I felt healing taking place. I felt a mighty power of God that moved in everybody's spirit tonight. There was a shifting in your spirit tonight. There was a healing in your spirit tonight. There was a, a, a clearance. Come on, somebody. There was a clearance in the air. There was a clearance in the air. There was a removal of static in the air that was causing the friction. Mm -hmm. There was a removal and clarity set yes. in. There was clarity yes. tonight. Amen. Come on, somebody. There's clarity right now on your life. There's clarity that just dropped on your mind. There's a peace of God that yes. entered into your life right now. Come on, somebody. That is God. That is the spirit of God moving. We got to honor him. We got to thank him. We got to receive it. Like I said, we got to come expecting saints. If you want to move of God in your life, come expecting. When you come to the throne, come expecting for more. Come expecting for healing. Come expecting for a miracle. Come expecting. It's expectation. And when we, when we come with that hunger and thirst, God will be like that. You like my sound effects? But he will pour. He will pour. He will pour his spirit upon Amen. you of healing just like that pouring <laughs> he will pour his spirit come on somebody god has humor god has humor saints come hungry come thirsty because his wow is unlimited his wow will never go dry come on we could draw from his wow. Yeah. We could draw from his wow. We could draw from his wow. Just like the woman at the wow. Oh, she was thirsty. She was thirsty. And he was waiting for her. Come on, somebody. He was waiting for mm -hmm. her. And he says, I can give you water. I can give you the living substance, right? A, a substance of heaven, right? A substance. Because he's saying that water you drink, 
oh, you'll go thirsty again. But the water that I give you, he's saying, oh, you'll never go thirsty. You can never go thirsty. Amen. Man. That means that means there's an unlimited resource in heaven. Unlimited. Unlimited. And we get all happy when we get our unlimited minutes, right? We got to get happy for the unlimited favor and blessings of Come on. heaven. Amen. 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 All right. Come on, somebody. I love you guys. We love you. We love you. Um, pick up on the nuggets every Monday. We're here to drop you keys, uh, keys to heaven, because God loves you. God wants to bless you. God wants to pour out his favor upon you, right? And so we are here to help in the process of giving uh, keys and golden nuggets, as I like to call it, <laughs> the nuggets of heaven. Come on, somebody, the nuggets of heaven. Sister Olga, she, she wants nuggets. She comes with her basket all the time and she's yeah. collecting her nuggets. Come I on, somebody. Like that. <laughs> oh, she brought a bigger basket. Now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, same. So we love you guys. We love you. Tune on in uh, every Monday at six o'clock so we could pray for you because we love you, Dallas. We're here for you and the nation. God bless. Amen. Amen. And God bless. Bye, everybody. <laughs>